the Etruscans were a force to be reckoned with after 650 BC and something the Kingdom of Rome was very well aware of in what is known as the Regal Period. A number of historians claim the Etruscans actually controlled Rome when the bridge Pons Sublicius near the Aventine Hill and the Cloaca Maxima, an early sewage system, were built. The Roman Kingdom originated at a ford across the river Tiber and the surrounding hills made it very defendable as a location on a plain that was highly fertile. Myth claims that Rome was ruled by seven kings between 753 BC and 509 BC, starting with King Romulus. Romulus began his reign by killing his brother Remus. To learn more about La Bella Italia, consider subscribing. Romulus created the Senate by hand-picking affluent men to best serve the city. The Senate of up to 300 people advised the king, Numa Pompilius, ruled in peace. He founded religious and political institutions and created the solar calendar which consisted of 12 months. Tullus Hostilius was a warlike king who destroyed Alba Longa. He died as his house was struck by lightning. Ancus Marcius was a warlike king who defeated the Sabines and founded the port of Ostia. Tarquinius Priscus expanded the Roman territory. He constructed the Circus Maximus and the Cloaca Maxima and was killed by the sons of Ansus Marcius, formerly his friend. Servius Tullius was an Etruscan king who built new walls around the city and the temple of Diana. He was killed by his stepson Lucius. Lucius Tarquinius Superbus was the tyrannical last king of Rome. King Lucius Tarquinius Superbus built the temple of Jupiter Optimus Maximus, the most important temple in ancient Rome. While he was away fighting campaigns and establishing colonies, his son Sextus Tarquinius was up to no good. He sexually assaulted a noblewoman called Lucretia. This vile act was reported to various Roman noblemen and then Lucretia committed suicide from the shame and humiliation. The Roman nobleman Lucius Junius Brutus gained the support of the Roman aristocracy and the population to reject the king and instead create a republic. Crucially, the Roman army supported Brutus and this forced the king, Lucius Tarquinius Superbus, to flee into exile. Today, many academics claim this reads more like a well-executed coup. So ended the Roman monarchy in 509 BC. Historically, the claims of the rule of the Seven Kings is generally discounted. As the Etruscans began to battle with the Greeks to the south of Italy, Rome rebelled and won independence from the, from the Etruscans around 500 BC. Ancient Roman architecture was heavily influenced by both Greeks and the Etruscan architectural styles. The Romans thought of themselves as highly religious, despite evidence of their very sexual appetite 
and the priesthood was reserved for the elite classes of society. In this period, priests would marry, raise families and be politically active.